Hello and welcome back to Children's Reading Cove. This is chapter 11 of Dragon Masters, Search for the Lightning Dragon. Chapter 11, You Can't Catch Lightning. Capri flew right behind the lightning dragon with Anna on her back. Bo and Shu were close behind. The lightning dragon hovered in the air, flapping his wings, sparks shot from his body. The frightened fishermen all ran away, leaving Diego, Drake, Worm, and Carlos alone on the shore. That dragon is like a living lightning storm, Carlos said. He is a baby lightning dragon, Drake explained, and you're his dragon master. He must have flown here because you put on your dragon stone, Carlos, said Diego. He could fly away any minute, Anna called down from Capri. He moves fast. We must catch him, Diego cried. How? Carlos asked. You can't catch lightning. Ah, but he is a lightning dragon and you are his master, said Diego. You must find a way to calm him. I will try something in the meantime. Diego held out his wizard's wand. Blue light sparked from the end. Carlos gasped. More blue light flowed out of the wand, forming a big bubble. Drake had seen Diego make a magic bubble once before. He and Griffith had used it to capture an evil wizard named Maldred. The bubble floated up and surrounded the baby lightning dragon. He let out a high-pitched cry. Eee! The baby dragon thrashed his wings. Small lightning bolts flashed from his body. Pop! The bubble burst. The dragon flew in, the wild, in wild circles above the beach. Ow! Carlos yelled. What's wrong? Drake asked, running over to, to him. Carlos had his hand over his ears. His dragon stone was glowing bright green. I can hear sounds in my head, he cried, like someone's crying out for help. That's your dragon, Drake said. You're making a connection. Good for you, Carlos, Diego cheered. Now talk to him. In your mind, try to calm him down. Carlos closed his eyes. He made a face like he was thinking very hard. The lightning dragon started hovering again. But more lightning bolts shot out every time he flapped his wings. I can try another magic bubble. Diego said, but I don't know if it will hold him. Drake remembered something. Petra said the dragon would calm down if we found a way to drain its energy. Is there some way we can do that? Then Drake heard Worm's voice in his head. I am Earth. End of chapter 11. See you soon for chapter 12. Bye-bye.